Hello everybody and welcome back to this channel, my name is Invin and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video on something which has come to my attention through Reddit and through a few people in my Discord mentioning it and it's something I've done some research on and found out to be actually true in the game and whether it's a hidden bug or a hidden update I am not 100% sure on this yet. Hopefully we will get some sort of developer response to this very very soon so I can bring you guys an update but as it currently stands this is kind of either a hidden update or a hidden bug which has just come to the attention of people maybe didn't realize before or whatever but it is going to be this here that basically aoe's so aoe attacks or aoe heals cannot overlap and affect the same target so what do we mean by this well it's going to mean that particularly in places like wars specifically and um, it's not going to allow aoe attacks so if there's two ice storms overlapping the enemy or the player within that will only be affected by one of those ice storms same with heals if there's two sacred grounds overlapping only one of those sacred grounds will be healing someone now this is confirmed to work in pvp and we personally have tested this in pvp pve expeditions i do not think this is the case so if you are a PvE player, if you're playing in a group, you're doing the Elite Zones, there's 60, uh, level 60 plus 600 gear score farming stuff, that should all be fine still. It is just in the PvP environment within the wars specifically where this is going to be problematic, but also in open world PvP, this seems to be the case. Now, obviously, uh, we have a war coming up this evening, so I will test this and I'll make a video following up from that if we get any responses and stuff from the developers. But generally, this is kind of where we're at with it right now. And it's been brought to my attention, like I said, by a post here on Reddit. So I'm going to bring this Reddit post up for you guys and I will also leave it linked down below in the description so you can check it out for yourself and we'll read through what exactly is happening here. So as you guys can see on the screen right here, we have some um, basically the the title of this post is huge game breaking undocumented changes to aoe stacking such as ice storm sacred grounds hot dot and etc so quite a lot healing over time and damage over time is the hot and the dot so just so you guys are aware of what those acronyms actually mean and the aoe's obviously is area of effect so it means anything that's kind of in those spherical type zones where you can do damage to multiple enemies or heal multiple players now like i said pve this seems to be working pvp this seems to not be working and this is where the game breaking undocumented changes part comes from so this is the post here it's by the user uh burizar you can see him just up here so if you want to go and check out the original post like i said it will be linked in the description of this video and essentially they've highlighted a clip here as well which you guys can see on screen i will go over to that and link their channel as well so we can have a look at this properly but basically it says this post here says basically a lot of aoe ticking abilities most notably sacred ground and ice storm do not stack anymore this means if someone drops a sacred ground on top of yours it will cancel out your own sacred ground same thing with ice storm only one ice storm can hit enemies now is this intended changes there was nothing written in the patch notes or officially from the devs so I have a little bit of an issue with the wording on this one. I wouldn't say it cancels it out. I would just say that it only affects one target. So if there is a slight area of overlap, that will only be, say, for example, there's two ice storms and slightly they overlap in the middle of the circle there. Kind of like a Venn diagram, if you guys know what that is. That middle part will only affect one enemy, but as soon as that enemy moves into either of the other circles, they will then be affected by it. Plus, anybody else that's only affected by that one circle will be affected by it still. It's only the section that crosses over where the, now the enemy or the player takes either one set of healing or one set of damage instead of multiple sets so essentially it just stops the stacking element of these attacks or heals not the actual overall damage output if you aoe a point where there's 20 30 players and you're the only one on there you're going to do a lot of damage but if someone places theirs directly on top of yours the last casted one actually counts so bear that in mind if you have got wars coming up this is going to be absolutely huge as i say we have one tonight so we are going to test this out but essentially what you want to do is have a very small overlap and then every other abilities spread out just overlapping marginally with the one next to it so you can cover as much area and output as much damage together as a team rather than trying to compete for that one block of damage because that's going to be very very detrimental to your team efforts obviously because this is healing as well it seems like healing is the most affected by this i can kind of maybe see why they've done the damage although i do think that with the amount of health and resistances that people in heavy armor in this game actually have those damage over times and those kind of 
AoE attacks make sense, but I can kind of vaguely see where they were going with it. The healing, however, I cannot because there is only one version of healing, AoE, and that is Sacred Ground. And there is maybe, even if you put 20 healers on your team, it's still not going to be ridiculously overpowered versus getting completely stunned. You know, and part of the tactic of a war is sending people to attack their healers so that they can't just constantly spam those. And I think that's a good element to have. So it'd be a real shame if this is something they've intentionally implemented rather than, you know, an accidental bug or an accidental change they've made. But again, that is just speculation on my part. We have had no official word on this yet. Now, what I'm going to do next is show you guys the clip here from this guy's stream. So again, this will be linked for you guys down below. So this is the user Revan619. Um, I will link this exact clip that I've got up now in the description below. Again, if you do want to go over and check out this guy's channel, really awesome stuff. That'd be great. Just go over there and check him out, obviously, if you do want to. He, he is someone who's done the research into this and videoed it. Like I said, we've done some private testing on our server with each other, dueling and kind of going into open world PvP, getting enemies to come with us and kind of testing it out. And it is a thing. We've basically backed up what he said here, but because he was the first person to kind of cover it here, I'm going to use this clip. So all credit goes to him for that. Obviously, do check him out if you would like to. And without further ado, I'm going to play this clip through for you guys so you can kind of see what's going on. And um, essentially what they do is they've set up a duel here. So there's these two guys versus this one guy here. Both of them are using the ice gauntlet and they're going to use the ice storm version, which is the AoE. And you'll see in here, this guy puts it just over slightly to the right. He's going to get this guy in and you'll see the damage numbers coming out as soon as that guy pops his. His damage numbers stop and he's in voice comms saying that he is getting the damage ticks. But as you can see, the main guy that we're watching here, this guy's stream doesn't work so as soon as it overlaps it isn't counting towards damage now let's just go back and watch it again just on the off chance that it's still duplicating damage watch the health bar of the enemy player here so when this guy first places it you can see the health bar just here it goes down a little bit and then it swaps over and it goes down at exactly the same rate as it does initially meaning that the damage doesn't stack it's not just a numbers glitch you can visibly see there is no change in the rate of health loss it's exactly the same and there's no damage number indicators which you always get when you do damage in this game that's one thing that has been pretty consistent so it does seem like that is going to be the case now we're not actually going to be able to stack those different damage or healing multipliers now obviously like shown in the clip there that is just with damage but it does work the same with heals we've tested this multiple times in different areas different types of weapons different weapon variants different armor variants all that kind of good stuff and it is the same regardless so unfortunately that is how it is right now if we do get an official update or kind of progress announcement or acknowledgement that it's a bug or whatever then i will again update you guys with a full video covering that but this is is just to bring you guys up to speed make sure that you are aware of it pve as i said is absolutely fine we tested that multiple times you can still heal and do multiple damage aoe's to the same enemy mobs but when it's against players they are now only affected by one of the aoe's if they're stood between two so try and spread these out in pvp environments hopefully this does help you guys out hopefully you don't get caught out by it particularly as i say if you've got wars in the coming days before we get any clarification and of course if you're just doing any general pvp pvp missions open world pvp skirmishes whatever the case may be obviously we don't have outpost rush right now but they are working on that as well so if this is still the case when that comes out be aware so hopefully you guys can keep on top of it and other than that, that's going to be it for today's video so make sure you drop a like let's spread this around get everybody to see this because it's very very important again the youtube algorithm works so that if you comment and like it does better so if you wouldn't mind dropping a comment let me know what you think about this let me know if you've got any more information if you've done any testing of your own all that good stuff drop it in the comments down below other than that if you're new to the channel make sure you do drop a subscribe i am uploading videos every single day on new world so if you are enjoying new world content make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on any of that and other than that guys as always thank you very much for watching take care and peace